Greetings students. Today we are going to learn about one of USC's leading airline company, Southwest Airlines. Most of us at least once must have heard the name of the company, Southwest Airlines. Let us know this company in a much better way. Southwest Airlines Corporation is a major U.S. airline and the world's largest low-cost carrier headquartered in Dallas, Texas. The airline was established in 1967 and adopted their current name in 1971. The airline has more than 46,000 employees as of August 2012 and operates more than 3,400 flights per day. As of June 5, 2011, it carries the most domestic passenger of any U.S. airline. As of August 2013, Southwest Airlines has scheduled a service to 86 destinations in 42 states and Puerto Rico. Southwest Airlines has solely operated Boeing 737s except for a few years in the 1970s and 80s when they operated a few Boeing 727s. As of August 2012, Southwest is the largest operator of the 737 worldwide with over 550 in service, each operating an average of six flights per day. In May 2011, Southwest acquired Air Trained Airways with integration of the carriers expected to be complete by 2014. On March 1, 2012, the company was issued a single operating certificate, technically becoming one airline. Southwest Airlines traces their routes to the March 16, 1967 incorporation of Air Southwest Corporation by Roland King and Herb Callagher to provide service within the state of Texas. Callagher believed that by providing intrastate service within Texas, the airline could avoid federal regulation. Three airlines, Braniff, TransTexas and Continental Airlines started legal action which was not resolved for three years. Air Southwest prevailed in 1970 when the Texas Supreme Court upheld Air Southwest's right to fly within Texas. On May 30, 2012, Houston City Council approved Southwest's request for international flights from Hobby Southwest agreed to invest at least $100 million to cover all costs tied to the Hobby upgrade, which includes designing and building five new gates and a customer facility. Construction at Hobby is expected to take two years, with international flights likely beginning in 2050. On April 11, 2012, Southwest introduced the 737 to 800 to the fleet. It seats 175 passengers as compared to the regular 137 seater, 737 to 700. The first 737 to 800 was called Wario 1 in salute of the Southwest employees of Warrior Spirit. Airline industry is a very tough industry. Airlines weren't built to run on $130 barrel fuel. So what VMware allows us to do is more effectively use our investment in both our applications, our hardware, and our people to be able to allow a seamless delivery of services for our applications 365 days a year. At Southwest Airlines, the communication department and our technology department work very closely together. In this day and age, when people absorb most of their information from online sources, websites, blogs, things like that, uh, technology has become an incredible need for us. We previously had a proprietary, uh, internally built solution for session management for our Southwest.com environment. We chose Gemfire as a solution for the replacement of our internal application because it seemed to serve our long-term needs better than anything else that we looked at. Uh, automation and virtualization are key to supporting the future of Southwest. Well, our goal uh, really around virtualization, uh, we, which we started down the path about two and a half or three years ago, was to start uh, going from 100% physical servers, every application is on one or more servers, to being able to more effectively utilize our servers, utilize our people and the technology that we have. So we're dependent on technology resources and great solutions to help us get information out quickly uh, and as effectively as we can to our workforce. We're enabling Southwest to be more competitive by laying the foundation that will support our business plan. We use VMware's uh, VCM product for PCI uh, adherence, uh, file integrity monitoring. Uh, we currently use the you know, ESX uh, product obviously for virtualization. 
Uh, we're using various products from the Spring Source line, including TC Server, ERS. All of these are put in critical positions uh, supporting our business operation. When we uh, took to the sky uh, 40 years ago, I don't think anyone would have ever had the vision that we would be using the cloud uh, to actually deliver our product, deliver information, and help us lower our cost. Uh, VMware also um, allows us to uh, more effectively use what we do have and cuts our overall cost model by effective utilization of the processing power that we have in the data center today. VMware is a great partner. Our whole goal is to have the cloud such that it's seamless and transparent and our customers, our employees, and our other people in IT don't need to care about the technology that's underlying the delivery of the service, that we can deliver the products and services we need to in the most efficient way, uh, and VMware is part of that. The company has employed humor in its advertising. Slogans include, love is still our field, just plain smart. And there's somebody else up there who loves you. You are now free to move about the country. The low fare airline and grab your back, it's on the airline's current slogan, is welcome aboard. In March 1992, shortly after Southwest started using the Just Plain Smart motto, Stephen's Aviation, who had been using Plain Smart for their motto, tread in a trademark lawsuit. Instead of a lawsuit, the CEOs for both companies tag an arm wrestling match. Held at the now devilish Dallas Sport Tatorium, the famed wrestling facility, and set for two out of three rounds, the loser of each round was to pay $5,000 to the charity of their choice, with the winner gaining the use of the trademark phrase. The Southwest Airlines headquarters is located on the grounds of Dallas Love Field in the Love Field neighborhood of Dallas, Texas. On September 17, 2012, Southwest broke ground on an expansion of their headquarters. The headquarters expansion is across the street from its current headquarters building. The property includes a two-story, one lakh square foot operation building that could withstand an F3 tornado. It also includes a four-story, 3 lakhs 92,000 square foot office and training facility with two levels devoted to each function. The new facilities will house 24 hour coordination and maintenance operation, customer support and services, and training. As of December 2011, Southwest Airlines has 37,000 employees. The president and CEO of Southwest Airlines is Gary C. Kelly. Kelly replaced former CEO Jim Parker on July 50, 2004 and assumed the title of president on July 15, 2008, replacing former president Colleen Barrett. Southwest Airlines CFO is Laura Wright. In July 2007, Herb Kelleher resigned his position as chairman. Colleen Barrett left her post on the board of directors and corporate secretary in May 2008 and president in July 2008. Both are still active employees of Southwest Airlines. Southwest has been a major inspiration to other low-cost carriers and its business model has been repeated many times around the world. The competitive strategy combines high level of employee and aircraft productivity with low unit costs by reducing aircraft turnaround time, particularly at the gate. Europe's EasyZ and Ryanair are two of the best known airlines to follow Southwest business strategy in that continent. Other airlines with a business model based on Southwest system include Canada's WestJet, Malaysia AirAsia, the first and biggest LCC in Asia, Qantas Z Star, although Z Star now operates two aircraft types, Philippines, Cebu Pacific, Thailand's Nok Air, Mexico's Valaris, and Turkey's Pegasus Airlines. Although Southwest has been a major inspiration to many other airlines, including Ryanair, AirAsia, and Z Star, the management strategies, for example, of Ryanair, AirAsia, and Z Star differ significantly from those of Southwest. On June 22, 2011, a March 25 recording of an in-flight transmission of Southwest pilot Captain James Taylor apparently unintentionally broadcasted a conversation with his co-pilot was released to the press. The conversation was 
peppered with foul language directed at gay, overweight and older flight attendants. According to Sarvas, the pilot was reprimanded, temporarily suspended without pay and received diversity education before being reinstated. Captain Taylor also sent an email apology to all of Sarvas' employees, especially the crew bases they criticized. So students, we got to know about the various aspects of Southwest Airlines. Hope the information about the company was useful. Have a good day.